Hi, today I want to talk about the virtual file systems in Lucy. Of course, you are familiar with the local file system in Lucy. Here in that example, I get the current uh, file pass, then I get the directory of that pass with help of these two functions, then I now put it. When I do that, we see we have in the struct these two passes. Now, with help of these two passes, I can do a lot of file and directory operations in, in Lucy. Here, for example, I make a file read of the file pass and then I make a directory list of the directory itself. So when I execute that, you see if I first get the content of the file with file read then the directory listening with the function directory list. So nothing special. That's the local file system you are familiar with. And the local file system in Lucy is the default file system. That means there is no other definition. Lucy always use that file system. But you can explicitly define the file system you want to use. In case of the local file system, you do that with the file prefix. So you have file double point slash slash. Um, so Lucy knows you want to use that file system. Uh, again, for the local file system, that's not necessary because it's the default file system. So when there's no file system definition, Lucy has a fallback to the default file system. But you can do it. When that's the same code as before with that small difference that I now define the file system prefix. When I execute that, you see I get the same output, but with the difference that I now use the file system prefix to for the file. So that works for loose, it makes no difference, works the same way. That's the local file system. Of course, that's not the only file system Lucy supports. One other file system, for example, is the zip file system. The zip file system is a file system that uses a zip file like a file system. In that case, I have testbox, uh, the testbox app as a zip file that I use as a file system. I first get the path to that file. When I execute that, you see I have zip file and I have the path to that zip file. Now, how can I use that as a file system? It's very simple. I add the, in that case, zip as a prefix, so Lucy knows it has to use the zip file system. Then I have the regular path to the file and the definition ends with an exclamation mark. So following here then comes the path into the zip file. When I execute that, you see zip is now now zip double point slash slash the pass ending with exclamation mark. When I now now I can use that as a file system. I do the first thing I do I make a directory list of the root of the zip file. So all, everything that is directly in the zip file root. When I execute that, you see in the zip file are two files, box.json and a text test box folder. Let me go a little bit, a bit deeper, and now I say, okay, I want to have the con directory listening the content of the test box folder. And when I do that, you see there are a lot of files and directories. One file is the readme file inside the test box folder. Okay, next thing we do, we do a file read to that file. So testbox.readme.md, and we output the result. When you do that, you see I get test box, blah, 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 and the readme file. So that way you can use the zip file like a regular file system. The next file system is, is the HTTP file system. That's simply a HTTP URL you can use like a file. And I can, for example, do, in that case, we have a pass to, to the Lucy documentation to the function apps. When I make a file read on that, I get the content of that file. Of course, I could do CFHTTP URL, this pass, then 
I had the result with file content and so on. I get a lot more information, but you can do it in a very simple way by simply using the regular file functionality for that. This file system is limited to reading stuff because most HTTP servers do not allow the method put and delete and update and so on. So they are limited to get and post. So because of that, uh, we, that is not implemented at all. Even the server would support it and it's not implemented. That means you only can do a read file operation. And of course, when you, for example, do try to list the root of that server, you will fail because when I do that, let me disable the file read. When I do that, you see I get an exception that that pass exists, but it's not a directory. That means because that is when, when I call that also in the browser, I get the same at, as I would call, call this. So it, it is a file. So there is no listening of that uh, directory. So that's a limitation of that file system, but it's still very useful, the HTTP file system. The next file system is the RAM resource. The RAM file system is an in-memory file system. So you can store files in memory by simply use the prefix RAM uh, double point slash slash. Then instead of local file system, the RAM resource is used and stores the file in memory. That is useful if you need files where you have a very fast access to it, because the RAM, of course, is much faster than the local file system. I think I already have content inside that. So when I do a directory list on that, you see I already have the content in, I have a folder Heidi and the file Susi. And When I do here uh, create, I make a Heidi 2 out of it and I write a file into it, name it Susie 2 and then I make a listening again. You see now I have four files inside that, that um, virtual file system. What is important to know is that the RAM resource is independent for every context. So it's not shared between web contexts. So when you have multiple websites, every website has its, its own RAM resource, so its own RAM file system. Um, that is important to know. So going on, next one is S3. S3 maybe you're familiar with, is, is a remote file system you can also use from Amazon. There are two ways to define it because you need the credential to log in. You can define the credential as part of the path like it ha I have on that line, or you can define it in the application CFC like this with this.s3.access key ID and access security key and define the credentials there. You should always use that way because then it's hidden from in a case of an exception, because when you have it as par part of the pass and you have an exception, you maybe see the pass in the in the error output and that of and when you don't hide that information to the public, you output that information. So always prefer to write it in the application CFC. If you do that, you simply have to do the S3. It, it is, is, in my case, I have this, the, the credentials in the application CFC. When you do that, you can simply write the S3 prefix and then go on. So I make that and I first uh, list the, the root of my S3 resource. You see, I have a lot of content here. 
and now we pick a sing single folder inside that test cases s3 that's the last one here and we list list that that's a bucket by the way so we list that one you see it has one folder so now you see in that folder a i have a, foo, a file foo.txt and now i make a, a file read on that file when i do that you see it's just hello there in that file so i can use s3 the same way i use the local file system next one is ftp so ftp can be used exactly in the same way i can also use um uh, the credential as part of the pass or i i can that's but that's not possible in lucy 5.2 you have to use lucy 5.3 to do that you can also define the credentials in the application cfc so i do here the same i make a directory listening of that pass and i for that case i hide the username and password because it's part of the pass when it's defined here so when i execute that you see i get, again get a listening of the the folders and file inside uh, my FTP server. Uh, Lucy not only supports virtual file system on the C on CFML level, you can use it everywhere. Also internally, use Lucy can use uh, virtual file system passes, so you can, for example, define uh, mappings and and all that stuff that you define in the administrator can be can be virtual file system you can for example say that that lucy should should store class files it generates to the ram resource so that you get faster access to to compile it classes to compile it a cfml code stuff like that so Lucy is fully built on the virtual file system it uses. It's not just on CFML level. I hope this video was helpful to you. Have a good one.